Who are you called to serve? Where are you called to serve? Answering these two questions can be the difference between being successful and not being successful. You may own a business and you may be saying, this is a business, this isn't a service. But yes, your business is a service. You are in business to serve the people that need your product or what you have to offer. You know, serving isn't hard. The thing is finding out who you are called to serve. How do you do that? It's called a customer profile or a customer avatar. So I recently got a chance to share this uh, in a message with my church family. It is important that you know whether you are a business organization or ministry who your ideal customer is. You've got to really know who you are supposed to be serving. When you create your profile, you need to look at your own life. This is the quickest, easiest way to do it. You're in a particular business. Why? Probably because it was a problem for you. Maybe sometime in your life, you needed a repair person and you couldn't find them or you couldn't afford them. Sometime in your life, you wanted to travel and you weren't able to do it. Sometime in your life, you needed someone to coach you, but the right person wasn't there. It was birthed in you to be able to say, look, this is a need, this need isn't being filled, and I'm the person to fill it. So if you're going to create your customer profile, I want you to look at yourself. Look at the problems that you've had in that area. So if you had problems getting a marriage coach, getting somebody who could really help you, I want you to outline the steps and what you did or what you did to become a marriage coach. I'm sure that you were able to solve your own problem, right? So look at yourself. If you are 50 and a marriage coach, you're going to want to look at people who are maybe in that same range who need a marriage coach. Your customer profile, which people don't understand, a lot of times is just based on you. It's based on what you went through, what you've overcome, how you've made it, and you offering that service to the business community or to any community. So that's the first thing. The second thing is where are you called to serve? If you're not sure where you are called to serve, and, and for some people, they say, well, I want to help this type of person, but I don't know where they're at. Where were you? What places have you been? What situations have you been in that you needed help out of? So if you are a drug addict, let me correct that. If you were a drug addict, if you were addicted to drugs, where are the people who are addicted to drugs? If that's who you're called to serve, where are they? Where were you? Where did you go? Where did you hang out? If you are someone who you're called to bake for people, where are the places that people who need someone to bake hang out? Where do they go? Do they go to a grocery store? Do they call or look online? Where do they go? Your success for serving is going to be in understanding those two things, which were one, who you're called to serve, and two, where you're called to serve or where they're at. Finding out these two things can help you increase your income. It's not difficult. 
just look at yourself. What were your needs? What were the things that you've had to accomplish or overcome? What are your skills and ability? What age were you when this happened? Where were you when this happened? Or where were you when you had this need? Where are the people that have this need? No matter what business you're in, you can be a horse trainer. It's still the same thing. Where are the people that need your particular product of, of horses or riding horses or needing you to train horses? Where are they? Once you figure out these two things, you are able to really narrow down and hone in on the people that need you and the people that you're going to have to serve. Once you find this, then start posting different pieces of content so that they can find you. You don't have to go look for them. They're out there now. They're looking for you. They want your answer. Start posting, start sharing, and watch God be able to direct them to you, your business, and your service. So I thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, or check out the website. I'm so glad that you were here with me, and God bless you. God keep you. You know, always, always, always is my prayer for my viewers.